Hey everyone, it's DJ Case UK. In my videos I'm going to be doing music production and show you how to create your own tracks and also how to make your own samples and also how you can edit your own videos as well. If you're interested in that sort of thing, hit subscribe and there's going to be lots of that sort of content on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the colours in Acid Pro to make it easier to see what you're doing. So it's really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you go into options at the top, click on preferences, then you've got this tab here called display and uh, just select display. And um, when you lay your tracks out in Acid Pro, so when you create new tracks, you can add them here it puts them in order of of this so the first one you put will be color a the second one you put will be color b third one color c and you can go through these one by one and change them to whatever color you want i tend to have all of mine in black because black stands out um on a on any background uh, black stands out pretty 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 well um, I wouldn't recommend having your door black because some of the things can't you can't change the colour of. I would recommend going with a light colour or go with something which is um, not too dark, but um, you know, like a dark grey or something. Um, and to do that, it's really easy. You just right click on your desktop, click personalise. Then you want to go into your window color, advanced appearance settings, and you've got this uh, selection here. So you can click these different parts of windows, um, selected items, window, menu, active window border. And the one you want is this one here, which is 3D objects. You can just find that on the list as well. It's actually the top one on the list there. And whatever your 3D objects color one is, is, is the color that Acid Pro will turn to. Um, so if you were going to go for black, I would suggest changing the writing to white, uh, because that will mean some of the things will stand out. But as I say, some things will not change color so these lines on the grid for example they won't change color they will always stay that color and so if you change it to black you you won't be able to see those anymore um but what you could do is go with something like this one here like a really dark gray and maybe change your right into white and that that should be okay so takes a minute to load and you just sit and wait for that for a second and then it will change your acid pro to the color that you've selected and that's it you'll be able to change your acid pro to any color you want uh, it works with acid pro 7 um windows 7 but um i've not had chance to try it with acid pro 10 yet um oh there we go it's done it so there we go we now have acid pro in a dark gray with the uh, white writing at the bottom here oh it has changed the that as well but yes yeah some things haven't changed so i i would i would i, I would always go with either a dark gray or the white or the um or like a really bright color like the green that i had um the white is very cool actually um, because uh, because everything really really starts to stand out much clearer on the screen when it's in in white uh, I'll make the writing black for this as well to make the writing stand out a bit more and um, you'll see here if you change all the other things to black this will really really stand out really well so here we go here's the white uh, yeah we'll save those changes 
and get rid of that okay so here's the acid pro now and you can see here when you start drawing things in in black things really start to stand out very clearly um, I also use red a lot um, you know like for my MIDI recordings I put those in red um, I tend to put like the bass lines in red um, and then I if you go again if you go into your preferences up here I tend to have quite a lot of them black and then I'll have maybe one which I keep in red and maybe one that I keep in a, in a green as well um, just for different types of sounds you know so um, like I, I tend to put a lot of my drums in in green uh, a lot of the bass lines in red and then I use black for a lot of the the main parts or, or samples and stuff so that I can see those but yeah so that's it really if you if you want to change the colors of your acid pro that's how you do it um yeah just right click on your desktop go to personalize click window color advanced appearance settings select your 3d objects and uh and that's it um if it does work in acid pro 10 uh, let me know in the comments. It would be useful to know if it if it works with Acid Pro 10. Um, I've not had a chance to test it on Acid Pro 10 yet. And um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and there's going to be a lot more content for Acid Pro and Sony Vegas on my YouTube channel. Also going to be looking at other music production software and video ed editing software as well. So if you're interested in making music and videos, hit subscribe and there's going to be lots of that sort of content on my channel um if you would also consider making any donations or joining my patreon uh, there's a lot of bonus content available for you as well that's it thanks for watching see you on the next video